Hey everyone, it's Meredith here again, and I am here with layout number three using our Revitalize kits. And today I'm gonna to be using the Revitalize, the January 2024 Revitalize Limitless kit. I'm using pieces from the Essentials kit, and I'm hopefully going to use some of our Nailed It stamp set, which is right here. Um, that's what I'm hoping, so let's see what happens. Um, I grabbed the film strips today. I think I wanna use one more of those. The stamp set, of course. I'm gonna be scrapbooking these two pictures. Let me trim them in half here. Sorry. Uh, these two pictures of my son sleeping on my bed. I don't know what way they go yet. Um, the alphabets. Um, I pulled the following little chipboard pieces and ephemera pieces. I just pulled a couple. So I think I'm gonna be making some more with the stamp sets. So this one says delight and this one says moments. And I wanna use the alphabet in the middle to say delight in little moments or delight in these moments or something like that. So I wanna use both of these on the title. Of course I have a heart here. Time to chill, dreamer, cozy and carefree, and recharge are four of the little ephemera bits that I thought would go good with this. I probably will go through all my ephemera again um, because that's not very much. That I like to have a little more than that. The, the scraps I have left, I still have this scrap left. I don't really like that side for it, but I'm thinking I might mount my pictures or something on that side. Don't know yet. Put that off to the side. I would love to use this paper as the background of my entire layout. I just think that it makes the colors pop and I like the distressedness of it. That's the B side, I'm not gonna be using that. I pulled this paper because um, it matches my pictures really well to mat them on. This is the B side, but I'll probably use, or maybe the A side, I don't know, whichever. I probably will use the blue side though to help mat pictures. And then, oh, these are the leftover little bits of ephemera that I didn't use from the other days. Let's see, do I need any of these? Mm. I don't think so. Love it. Nah. Okay, anyway, um, I should probably put these back with the rest of the ephemera that's the whole giant pack that I haven't used yet. I think I'll do that next. Okay, this was the packaging from the mask of this stencil. Okay, but I keep my stencils and page protectors, like I don't keep them with their packaging. And I really love the pattern on this. It's like little tiny grid and it also matches my pictures. So I think I might gonna, I might use that packaging as a layer. If you do not like using packaging as your layers on your pages, there's plenty of other scraps in this kit that you could use in place of that. I like this currently because that is currently. Um, I probably won't use this light peach one yet another little orange scrap and then planning drinking eating watching well he's not doing any of those things he's sleeping um and I feel like I probably have enough little text on this background paper so I probably won't use this on this layout I'll save it for another one coming up and then of course I have scraps of black and white left over from the page layouts I already made. I'm probably not gonna use the black, but I probably will use the white to help mat the pictures. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is matting my photos. So I think first, let's see here. First, I'm gonna cut the top off of this because I'm obviously not gonna use the part that has all the writing. And I might just like it this size. It seems like a pretty good size for me to work with. That's even kind of cool, but I'm gonna use this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the branding strip off of this paper as well. And then this branding strip, I can use the back, so I'm gonna save that for another layout. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this branding strip off of this paper as well. And I can use that 
either on this layout or another layout. Probably use it on another one. So first I am going to mat these pictures um, on white paper. So I will just take them both, mat them on white. Alrighty, so those are matted on white and then I think, ah, I'm gonna get my papers all going here. Okay, this is the right side up. Okay, I would love to use some of this orange. Let's see, I don't even know which way I want these pictures to go. He's asleep. Do I want him to go? I think I like them like this. So I think I'm gonna leave them like this. Okay, and I think I kind of like the size of this orange just like it is. Um, let's see, if I'm using these other things, what color blues do I want in here? I might not use this orange paper right here. I think I like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use this one right now because I've got enough orange right here. And then I am gonna cut a piece of this paper, let's see. I'm gonna cut it off the top where it's this lighter color in case I wanna use this darker color on another layout. And I am going to cut it four inches, like a four inch strip off the top, because I think I'm gonna put it under here. Or maybe all the way under there. Oh yeah, like all the way under there. And I'm gonna cut it to like right there, which is about seven and a half inches. So I'll cut seven and a half inches off. So this piece is four inches by seven and a half inches. And I'm just gonna slide that under like that. Okay, I love this currently. Delight. Okay, so I wanna say delight in these moments possibly delight in these moments hmm or maybe i could just write little moments or quiet moments oh quiet moments would be cute maybe i'll do quiet moments so the currently could go across the top it could go down the side I don't really like it down the side because I've already got all that orange there it could go across the bottom I think I kind of like it across the bottom okay and then I'm gonna open my alphabets and I'm gonna pull out the word little so I can at least have it lined up and I like these little clear rulers um, for putting my alphabets on they're almost like a thickers um, alignment tool but it's not quite as big as the thickers alignment tool so let's see like this L and I'm trying to get different colors let's see how this works okay I, I'm trying to get different colors because I want to use all the colors. And this little dot goes with this eye. Hold on. I've got to get a better tool to pick these off. Okay. I, come on. I'm just going to put the dot under it because there's nowhere for me to hold the dot on the top. And then, like I said, I'm trying to get different colors. T... Two T's, L I T, little. Um, L E. 
I think I like, which E should I use? I think I like this grid, lowercase e. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. Little moments. Hmm. Somehow I'm gonna make them go together. Um, I'm not gonna use the word delight anymore. I'm just gonna set these off to the side. I am gonna try to use these and this. Okay, I do wanna try to put one of these frames underneath, like far underneath, because I just like the way that these layer things up. And I don't know how I want it yet. Oh, that looks kind of cute like that. Kind of like that. And then maybe another tiny one up here. No, maybe under there. Oh, that's good. I like that. Um, just barely sticking out from under there. Okay. That's all I'm going to use of those on this layout. I would love to make one of these little tags um, on a paper clip and hang it. Maybe I'm going to make two. I'm going to make one to hang somewhere around here and one to hang somewhere up there. Oh, and I also want to use some trim on this one. Which trim should I choose? I think it would be really cute to kind of make that pop with some trim. I'm liking that blue. Nope, I think the blue is it because it pops against the orange because blue and orange are opposite of each other on the color wheel. So they're complementary colors. So I really like the blue and the orange. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this off so I don't forget to put it down there when it comes time. Okay. And I'm not going to use any more of this trim today, or on this layout. And let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, I've got all these little pieces here. Time to chill. I think I'm going to color this heart a color too. Cozy and carefree. So I've got one cluster going on right here, one cluster going on right here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the other cluster yet. Dreamer needs to come in here. Recharge needs to go somewhere. Let me make, before I start going all crazy, let me make the two little tags that I want to make um, on the um, paper clips. And I think that's going to help. Um, I have colored paper clips I can use, so I have a yellow one here, or regular silver paper clips. I think I have some gold paper clips too. Um, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna go look for some different colored paper clips to use, so I will be right back. Okay, I think I found some things. I had bought this to give to my kids' teachers the first day of school, but I ended up giving them a whole bunch of other different clips. And I was going to return this to Walmart, you know, six months ago, but I didn't. So I think I'll take these paper clips out and stick them with this kit, or with this stamp set anyway. Just need the paper clips. And then I have all kinds of other paper clips in here, different colors a bunch of little mini clips from Felicity Jane and then teeny tiny clips from not just for boys that we've carried in the past, but I'm not gonna use those right now. And I'm not gonna use that one yet. I think I'm gonna use these. Yeah, I really like this color. It's like almost the green of that, but a little yellow and I think it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna get rid of all these. So if you've got colored paper clips laying around, um, they will go great with this stamp set and I'll show you how. Let me get the white leftover little piece of white paper so we can make these things. 
So I'm gonna do some on white cardstock, and I'm actually gonna do some on some of these other scraps that we've got here. Like, I'm gonna make one on this. I think it'll look cute up there. So, I'm gonna start with the stamps, and I'm gonna stamp in black ink. Okay, I pulled out all my ink colors that I've been using for the, this kit. So I've got the Blueprint Sketch, Seedless Preserves, Crackling Campfire, Peeled Paint, Archival Black, and I think I'm ready to roll now. So I've got my stamping block. And I'm just gonna start with, let's see, if I'm using this, I think I'm gonna do the orange on it because obviously there's orange in here too. And I think I'm just gonna make this one, one of these tinier ones. And I'm gonna stamp a few images before I start cutting out. Oh, I didn't stamp that one very good because I'm not stamping on a good surface. There, that's much better. Get my stamp cleaner out so that I'm not dragging one color of ink to another over and over again. So I got the orange one there. And then I'm gonna stamp this one again, I think in green onto this paper. Ink it up one more time. I'm not doing a very good job of stamping. I really need to get something my little stamp foam piece under this. I'm gonna go grab that so that I don't have to keep double stamping. Okay guys, this is my high tech um, stamping platform that I have, a piece of fun foam that I've used for years and years to stamp on, on top of. Okay, so I think I'm done with this one. And I really like this guy. And I'm gonna stamp it. First, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of the blue and I'm gonna color super lightly the background. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do tone on tone stamping the blueprint sketch right on top of that. Good, okay. And then I think I'll do one more of this. I think I'm gonna use the purple because I've got, you know, that purple in there. I'm gonna use the same brush because it's here. Okay, I've got that purple. Um, Preserves, what is this one called? Seedless Preserves. And I'm just gonna stamp tone on tone right there. Oh, it's so much better stamping on my little um, fun foam. It just makes the stamp hit everywhere nicely. Okay, so I've got those and then I'm gonna stamp a couple long banners. In, I'm gonna stamp one in white and one in on the blue patterned paper using just black ink, archival black ink. Because I think white will look nice and pop out and so will the blue. Okay, one right there. Here. All right, I need a third, I think I need a third one. So you know what I am gonna do? Well, let's see, let's work on these two first and see if I really do need a third um, paper clip banner. I really like working in sets of three and like visual triangles. So I feel like I'm gonna want a third one, but maybe I won't. I'm simply going to fussy cut these, use, leaving a little white border, but not much, just a little white border around my stamped image. Just like that. I'm gonna go off camera to fussy cut the, la the this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. 
so you don't need to watch all that. I'll be right back. Now that I have those fussy cut, I'm going to clean up my workspace a little so I have some space to work and I'm going to get to work making these little banner pieces. So let's see, I've got the paper clip here. I'm simply going to put that right over the paper clip and fold it down. Okay, and then I can adhere that into place. You might even want to use glue for this part if it doesn't want to stick with the tape, but I think I'm just going to use the tape for right now. I got a little bit showing. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to use this and this color together. And for this one, I'm going to use those two colors together. I kind of want it like how do I want to do this nope I like one right there and one right there that's very similar in color hmm I should have maybe thought about this a little more um Let's see. I think I want to make one more stamp like this one, but in green. So I'm going to do that real quick using um, green on the back, the peeled paint. I'm using that on the back. And then the... Um, chevron shape stamp on the front tone on tone okay and I think that I really didn't think about what order I was going to make these or how I was going to put them together when I was originally stamping I just started messing with stamps and colors but then when I'm starting to put them together deciding that this color blue and that color blue looks so similar that I don't like it together like that but I will like those two together oh yes okay so now I'm just going to adhere those down And the good part about this is you can make this back banner as long or as short as you want it. So that one is a long one. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. This is a quite long one. Maybe we'll put it on this somewhere here. Oop, I'm moving everything around. That one is long. And then this other one I make, I'm gonna do very similar. And actually, I want it to be about this long. So I'm gonna make it a little shorter. I might have to change the length of this because I think I do want it a little shorter than what I made it. Again, I. I'm not really planning ahead. I'm just kind of like trial and error going here. Okay, and then I know I want this color. I think I want this color on there too, definitely to pick up a little of that. So I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. And to do that, I'm just gonna peel those off and peel the back off rather than making a whole other restamping the whole thing and you're not even going to see where I folded it before because it'll be in the back but that's quite a bit shorter and I like it like that so I'm going to tape this down Good. 
and then I can attach these back on. And I think I'm going to hook this. No, nope, I don't want to hook it over the picture, do I? Let's see, I might be able to hook it like this over the picture. Oh yes, I really like that. Hooked right over the picture. Alrighty, so I've got that going like this. It looks really good clipped over the edge. This heart might be losing its place a little. We'll see. Um, mm -mm. Oh, that heart might look pretty good under there. Okay, I'm going to adhere some of these things down because it's getting a little bit busy on here for me. So I'm gonna start adhering some things down and I will be right back when I have a little bit more of the background solidified. Okie dokie, I'm back. There was just way too many moving pieces on here and it was kind of making me crazy. I got all the, this picture, not this one, but I got this picture and all those background pieces um, laid and adhered down. So now I can move things around without having everything move around. And I'm just putting a really thin strip of Eileen's Tacky Glue where I want to set this rickrack trim because I like the way Eileen's Tacky Glue holds fabric and trims better than any other adhesive that I have. So I just put a thin strip of it and get that down. Might need a little more at the end there. Oops. Yeah, I need a little more at the ends. So I didn't really get it all the way to the end. There. So much better. Now everything's holding still. One more thing I was thinking while I was putting stuff here. Um, I wonder if I should put a little tab, a stamped tab underneath the word little in my subtitle. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to stamp it and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, then I I just won't use it. But I'm going to try it real quick. Because it might make that word pop off. Or it might just make the word blend in too much to the background. We'll have to see. And the only way to really know is just to try it. And it might be that this is a little wider than I'm picturing for that word. So it might just be too big. Let's see. I'm just fussy cutting it with a tiny little white border around it. And I could have used any color ink here, but since I'm just experimenting, I just used black and white. Let's see if this, oh, I kind of love it like that. Maybe I might do that. Is it too many? Maybe I can move the word little over there. I don't want too many banners on this page. Hmm. Maybe I don't need it. Okay, we'll worry about that in a little. Let's finish working here. So this heart, I think I wanna color it a little bit of the purple color because I really need some more of this purple color and a little bit of the green and the blue. I think I'm gonna use three colors on it. So I'll get a scratch piece of paper to put down behind it just gonna get like a little scratch piece and I don't think it needs to have any orange in it but I do like the purple the blue 
and the green. And then I'm just gonna take my tiny little brush here and start, I'm gonna start with green. And I have multiple little brushes, you know, so I can have one for each color. So I don't mix the colors together on the brush. And I'm just gonna take this and just color splotches of color on this heart um, until I get the whole heart covered. And I'm just randomly, I could, I guess, have colored the stripes and made it be a striped heart, like every stripe be a different color. But it's too late for that now, <laughs> this one, because I already started just doing blotches. So I will finish doing these blotches off camera and then I'll be right back to show you how it looks. So this heart went in a whole nother direction that I was not planning. Um, I ended up hardly using any of the colors that I thought I was going to use. I painted over it like three or four times because I think it looks good with the orange and the purple only. When I had the blue and the green in there, it was just looking a little too crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down as well, I think. I'm gonna put them to this side a little. So I just need a little adhesive on them. And then I'm not sure that I want that up there. Maybe I do. Maybe I kind of like it like that. Okay, I'm gonna scooch this title back over because I moved it when I was messing with the tab before. I think I am gonna put a little, another little cluster down here. Let me make sure that I'm not gonna use this. Oh, that might look really good. Okay, I'm gonna put another little cluster down here. I think I'm going to put time to chill right there or we'll recharge. Let's see how that looks. Nope. I like time to chill. Cozy and carefree. I'm going to put down here somehow with dreamer and recharge. I think I'm going to put at the top. And then I have this little guy that I never used. Maybe I could stick him in down there with that little tab. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to start adhering some of these things down. I really wish I could make this paper clip look like it was hooked on something, how I did to this one, but I can't because it's just going off the top of the page. So I'm just gonna adhere it straight to the back of the page then. Let's see, if that's like that. The little recharge is right there. And I'm just gonna put adhesive all over the back of everything and pop it down even. The top of the paper clip is even with the top of the layout. Okay. I feel like the only way for me to really tell if this tab looks good is if I kind of get rid of this little um, ruler because it is adding a third little color since it's red and white and it's hard for me to tell. I'm just going to set these thankfully and not thankfully. Stick thickers are not super sticky and they're very forgiving. I mean, it's not good because we have to always add extra adhesive, but then it's kind of good because we can do things like this. Um I feel like it needs something right here because that is like such a sharp white angle. Okay, I'm gonna adhere this down just like it is, and then I am gonna worry about covering that up with a little something, maybe some sequins or something, after I get everything down, because I don't wanna be stuck on this little part for a long time, like what I'm doing right now. Oops, I forgot to adhere this picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this picture down this little guy. Okay, right there. 
So I gotta do that first. Then I can do this one. Then I can do moments. And then little. Okay, I am going to use art glitter to get these down. And I actually like just putting the glitter glue on the side of my hand. This makes it easy for me to dip these tiny little things in. Let's see. And I just blot them in there. Little. L. I'm going to turn off the camera to finish this, getting the word little on there so you don't have to keep watching this. And then I will add a little more glue to the side of my hand to get the word moments glued down. And got that all covered. And this fits right in there. The letters fit right in the little spaces in there. Okay, and this heart, I think I'm going to pop him up on foam tape so that it's above this um, paper clip and not sitting at an angle all over things. So let me get some foam tape. And then I want to make sure that I'm not putting foam tape where the paper clip is. So I think I'm going to have to cut these two apart. Okay, and that one can go up there. Let's see. That seems perfect right there. So, and the paper clip is fitting like right in that little space. So it's not resting on it anymore. Perfect. And then time to chill. I think I'm going to pop time to chill up on foam tape as well. there. Okay, then these little guys down here. Let's see. I'm just going to start adhering them down. Make that look like it's coming out of there. And Dreamer. Cozy and carefree. Oh, good. Okay, so Dreamer is going to go next. And then Cozy and Carefree, I am also going to pop up on foam tape. I'm going to have to cut the foam tape in half thin to fit it on the back. And it fits just perfectly. And I'm still stressing out about this little spot. So, okay, I need to scooch this down a little more this way. I'm trying to get this in the right area. There we go. And I just realized, I think the middle of this O punches out and I missed that. Oh, well. Okay. Let's kind of up this mess and I am going to go off camera and go through everything that came in this kit and find a little something to stick right there so I will be right back because I don't need to keep going through the contents of the kit over and over again on camera I'm gonna go off camera to try to find something okay guys I think I found something uh, to use up there I found these little arrows that came in the kit in the um, essentials kit, and I'm trying to see. I think I can use that green one right there, and I'm trying to see if I can incorpor incorporate this blue one. 
but I don't think I even need to incorporate this blue one. Whoa, that looks crazy. That looks like the Amazon smile. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put the green one there. It at least softens up that little corner right there. And then it, it's just a nice, adds a little movement to my eye around the page. So I'm gonna add that one right there. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do to this layout is come in, I really want some splatters, of course, because I always want splatters, apparently. Um, I'm gonna come in and do some black splatters, just really light right in this area and down here, and maybe a couple right there. Um, I'm gonna be very careful doing these, though, to cover up a lot of things because I don't want it on my pictures. I probably, I am not in the habit of doing splatters at the beginning because I don't know where I'm gonna want them until I get everything adhered down to my page. So it's hard for me to come in here and splatter before I know what I'm doing. It is what I is that it, it is what it is that I have to do the splatters afterwards. So I'm just gonna cover the things that I don't want splatters to get on with some scrap paper that I have. I really don't want splatters over my letters. I really want it to be in the background. So we'll see how this looks. This is looking like what I want. Yeah, I'm liking that. And then I'm gonna put a couple more down here. Good. And I'm gonna put a couple over here. And I think, let's see how this looks. Oh, I really need a couple more in here in this little space right here. I'm gonna cover up these pictures again and try to just get in this little area. I think I did it. Oh, I got a little on the end. Okay. Oh, I need a couple in there. Let's cover up really well what I don't want to get them on. I hope I'm not giving anyone panic attacks here doing this after my layout's complete. But like I said, it's hard for me to know where to put them until the very end. Does anyone else do this and just cover everything? Can't be the only one. Oops, I got some on my picture. Of course I did. I don't even know how that happened because I thought I had it covered. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. No, I still need a little more down here. I'm going a little, getting a little carried away, I think, with the splatters. That's good. No more up here. I'm going to look back at this video and laugh how I keep pulling out more and more and more. Okay, I promise that's the end of the splatters. Okay, I think this is about it for this one. I will probably add a little journaling strips up here in this top area. And oh, I wanted to activate the with water the ink here oh it's showing up really good I think you can even see it as it's activating maybe I should cover my photo so it doesn't get wet <laughs> oh this is good I like it so yeah I added some water to kind of activate that um distress oxide ink and I like the way that looks I don't know if you can see it in the video but I'm pretty sure you can it just takes the color right off okay guys thank you for watching and I hope you like this one I hope you like this series so far um if you make something that you're inspired by this layout post it on our um not just for boys kit club community Facebook group I would love to see it so much it makes me so happy 
to see when you guys make layouts from my videos. Okay, thanks. See you later. Bye.